No, I'm not getting ready to rob a bank or do anything like that. I'm actually thinking about going to sleep. And this is a sleep mask. Actually, it's not any ordinary sleep mask. It's weighted. Why? Because science shows that that works even better. It's like getting a hug from your sleep mask puts you to sleep more easily. But why am I talking about this? Because, believe it or not, there's accumulating evidence that being exposed to light at night is not a good thing, especially if that light happens to be blue. And we are exposed to such light. We're in bed watching our laptops or watching TV or checking our, our cell phones, and all of those sources blast blue light at us. What does blue light mean? Well, it is one specific set of wavelengths. You remember Newton's classic experiment, putting white light through a prism separated into the colors of the rainbow? Well, one of those colors, of course, is blue. And it turns out that blue has a physiological effect. What it does is it curbs the production of melatonin. Melatonin is a hormone that is produced in a tiny gland in the brain called the pineal gland. It's also called the Dracula hormone because it is only produced at night during darkness. And it turns out that if you interfere with the production of melatonin, not only do you interfere with sleep, but you also interfere with the activity of other hormones in the body, estrogen, testosterone. And unfortunately, recent studies have shown that people who are exposed to light at night are more prone to getting prostate cancer and more prone to getting breast cancer. Indeed, the International Agency for Research on Cancer has put uh, night workers, shift workers, into the category of being exposed to probable human carcinogens. So it's worthwhile paying attention to this. And it turns out that the newfangled light bulbs, the LED, light emitting diode bulbs, have more blue wavelengths than the old fashioned tungsten bulbs. And of course, together with the laptops, with the cell phones and with the TV sets, we're exposed to this. And also at night, there's light coming in from outside and they are now changing the street lamps to LED lamps. Interestingly enough, a new study came out from Spain where they had pictures taken from, from the orbiting space station uh, and they analyzed light uh, from, from the Earth and they found that in those areas where there was a lot of blue light, the incidence of cancers, prostate cancer and, and breast cancer was increased. Of course, these are observational studies, doesn't really prove cause and effect, but it's something to pay a little bit of attention to. So I've kind of started to paying attention to that. I had this uh, alarm clock in my bedroom that projected a lot of, of blue light. I've replaced it with uh, this kind of clock. You remember these? You can actually read the time on, on these without having to see the, the numbers. I've done that. And uh, I've also taken to uh, sleeping with the mask. And uh, I'll keep you up to date on uh, just what is going on. And hopefully, uh, I think maybe uh, we're going to sh shine some light into the darkness, but it won't be blue light.